Welcome Cancer, we are going to be looking at what guidance you need from Spirit right now using Postcards of Spirit, Grace Cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, let's get into it. One card for Cancer please. One card. Oh, here we go, Cancer. Here it is. What is it? Okay, Cancer. Dear you, there are times in life when taking a risk is better left for another day. Other times are perfect for taking that leap, no matter how dangerous it might seem. Well, hold on to your parachute strings, for today is, a, is leap time. Realise that no matter what, we will not let you fall, drown, get lost or hurt yourself in any way on this one. Even if it may feel like you are in free fall, we are here for you and you can stop freaking out about getting hurt and relax into this transition to something new. All the elements are in place and your soul is ready for a new experience. No matter what you are asking about, it's time to take the risk and do that thing that scares you. No matter what happens, you will land softly, right on target. Don't worry about the outcome. Spirit's got that covered. It's taking the leap itself. That's the point. We love your courage. Embrace it. Love that, Cancer. Mmm, interesting. Let's have a look further into this, eh? And at the end, we'll reread that. I feel like it's the, it's the anxiety about the unknown that could be scaring you right now, potentially. Let's have a look. Three cards for cancer, please. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this leap of faith that cancer is afraid to take. One, two. One more card. One more card for cancer. Don't know how that came out. One more card for cancer, please. Thank you. Okay, first card up is presence, we have a release, and we have imagination. So let's start with this one. Presence, bring your mind into the present time, now is the only place to be, exactly. Here's the thing, Katza, is that when we take our, our mind into the future, and, and we're afraid of taking that leap of faith, right? Um, it's because we're not in the present moment. We are not in the now. And this is where we need to be in order to help eliminate that anxiety. Because we don't know what's going to happen, right? But as Spirit says, they have got that covered. You're going to land softly, whatever you're doing. So you don't need to worry about that, okay? And, uh, and this is the thing, yeah? Those fears, what does that stand for, Cancer? False expectations appearing real, right? So in that regard, you don't need to be afraid. I know that I know that's easier said than done. I know that. The other thing of this here, now is the only place to be, is going back to the past. Because there may have been times where you attempted something and it didn't work out. So you may be going, I've got proof. I've got proof it didn't work out. So why would I trust the future? You know, but at the end of the day, honestly, you just have to do it. Because it's always those scary things, that other thing that you need to do the most. Okay, so let's just have a look what we see if we can get two more cards about presents for cancer here. There we go. Okay, so let's just sieve these out. Hmm. I, there's the sense of, um, okay, I want to say this, 
the fear is actually natural. It's a natural thing to feel, okay? Um, so I would say that going into this leap of faith, don't expect not to feel fear. Just don't let fear stop you, okay? Because these trapeze artists here, they probably get up on that ladder every single time afraid of dropping, like they could fall to their death here, right? And for you, as spirit has reassured you, you will land softly. They're taking care of it, you know? So you've got, you've already got that um, reassurance here, okay? Um, I have a feeling that what's going on here for you, Cancer, is potentially it's your mind playing tricks on you. The ego is coming in to have a field day with this fear, okay? And it's feeding on it, which is not helping you, all right? You've got the sorrow card and you've got silence. I just wonder if for some of you, this sorrow, what is it about the sorrow? This, there's this that has been held on to um, and... If, if, if there's anything that needs to be healed, I want to say, do the work to heal it, but don't revisit it more often than what you need to, because it's actually not helping you, okay? It's hindering you. Only revisit it to heal it, okay? When it comes up to be released, work with it, and then let it be, okay? Because... When we are dealing with anything that needs to be healed, we're always dealing with the past because it's the past that has hurt us. So this is something in that regard that you need to bring yourself into the present moment about, okay? And yeah, going into the silence here, this is a way to really calm those emotions, get into this mind. This here, this connection is um, that, that this guy is making here that is with the past what you want to make the connection with is the present because that is what is going to assist you in propelling yourself forward right because next up we have this card here understanding understanding that this look this bird here is watching all these other birds fly and it's stuck in the cage because it's so afraid it's afraid of crashing and burning. It's afraid that it's not going to be able to do what all the other birds do. And guess what, Cancer? Hopefully, it doesn't do what all the other birds can do. Hopefully, it flies and does somersaults and turns and twists and everything else, just like you, just like you have the ability to do. Because you don't want to be like everybody else, Cancer. You want to be like you. And so in that regard... This, this is the leap of faith that you need to take and give yourself permission to do so and also have the belief and the faith in yourself that you can do that because all these ones flying here are looking at you going, come on, what are you waiting for? You've got this, you're a bird, it's natural for you to do this. So whatever it is that you want to take the leap of faith in, it's actually natural for you to do. Even though it's scary, it's a natural thing for you to do, okay? But you're fighting it. You're fighting what is natural to you. And um, there's an armor on you that is holding you down. It's too heavy for you to fly. So the armor has to come off, okay? The next card we have here is release. Let go. When we release our attachment to the outcome, we allow the power of grace to work its magic. Yes, that's just it, right? The fear of the unknown is potentially what is stopping you here. And so it's as though you have to get this idea of what the outcome will be in order for you to take the leap. But what if the outcome, what if you make up an idea in your mind of the outcome, right? 
and the outcome ends up being better than what you anticipate and anticipated. What if that happened? When all the while you've been holding yourself back and limiting yourself to a particular expectation of a particular outcome when you could have so much more. And this is why it's important to take this leap of faith, yeah? Regardless of what that outcome will be, because it's going to be amazing anyway. Let's get these in order. Two more cards. One more card. Thank you. Oh, dang, it went on the floor. Almost got away with it. Won't be no. Okay. Yeah, see, look at this. Look at this. So it seems that, okay, so, okay, sorry. We've got these two cards here. This, this beginning, right, coming up with the ideas, coming up with the, the very, very um, start of something new, right, taking the leap of faith to go into that. Here we have the next two steps of that, right? And one of those steps is letting go, right? When And this is letting go of that attachment to the outcome and expectations. Because ultimately, realistically, what that is about is control. We're going to control everything about it to make sure we get the outcome that we expect. When, like I said before, we could receive so much better. So it's time for you to open up. Okay, and this is something that, um, yeah, you are supported in from your ancestors. Okay, this is something that potentially didn't come to fruition in a past life, and it is time for it to do so now. And maybe it's the case, Cancer, that some of you don't even know why you're so afraid of this new start and this leap of faith, and that could be from a past life when it didn't work out. But it's time to let go of all that now. It's time to let go of the fear. And as I said before, it doesn't mean you're not going to feel the fear, but it's letting go of the fear, controlling you. Okay? Um, and this is exhaustion card here. This is what I feel like this is doing to you. Oh, excuse me. Um, it's actually... <sighs> For some of you, there's something that you've been working on which isn't what you want to be doing. Because there's been this attempt to put all the pieces together and you're, you're actually exhausted from doing that. And it could be time to step away and start over. You know, it could be time to pull everything apart and go, let's just start again. Let's start from scratch. We've got all the tools we need, but let's do it differently. Yeah? Yes, you see? Look at this integration. You have everything you need. It's, it's, it's bringing it together in a way that is natural rather than forced. And I have a feeling that that may have been what has happened in the past that there's been things that that have been brought together in a forceful way because it seemed like a great old idea or it looked good on paper but in actual fact it wasn't the best thing and we have innocence here Yeah, and I feel like here, Cancer, that this is talking about this um, letting grace work its magic, right? Because you look at the uh, um, grasshopper here. The grasshopper is naturally authentic. The grasshopper does what it is born to do. No question. The grasshopper isn't here trying to be a butterfly or a ladybird it's a grasshopper and so it does what it needs to do it does what it's born to do 
and it's the same for you here all this exhaustion of doing what you weren't born to do is wearing you down okay it's time to embrace who you are and that will help to bring the people in that are your people okay I feel as though when you start also doing what it is that you are meant to be doing in your life and being your authentic self there's going to be this massive cause for celebration and it's about you celebrating yourself okay we have imagination look at this one of my favorite cards life's difficulties are a call to consciousness a grace inspired event that challenges us to reach beyond limited thinking yep thinking out of that square you know not not holding on to an outcome allowing whatever to take place to be tell me more about imagination for cancer please more cards for imagination okay alrighty the first two cards here wow wow okay we've got existence here existence and and I feel like this is reiterating what has already come up here about you stepping into what already is you stepping into your natural self your natural power understanding that the universe is something that is within you you are not in the universe the universe is within you your whole body is like a mini universe right the way it works the way it ticks everything okay and so it's this understanding use your imagination about it you know use your imagination what if you were on an island that is floating above the earth and you always thought that that was the entire earth but it was just an island floating above the entire earth what if you know and I feel like this is also looking at things in the in the bigger scheme, right? Of going, really, if there's challenges going on in your life, when if you were to look back in 10, 20 years' time, it's a blip in the bigger scheme of things. So try and bear that in mind in the universe, in the whole entire galaxy. Here you are sitting on a leaf, and there's this whole galaxy out there, right? Get things into perspective for you okay change it's always going to happen it is always going to happen okay so it's really coming into this space where the existence of who you are is the constant in that change because change is always constant okay and it's sort of like i get this feeling cancer that you are the um sort of like the calm in that that chaos of change you know and this is what you, you know this is what you are for other people so it's time to be that for yourself okay in this leap of faith that you take because you would encourage everyone else to go and do that but whether you're doing that for yourself is another question okay but do this you will have success in this transformation because this is meant for you this is 100% meant for you, okay, yeah, this is huge, actually, this is really huge in your life, and I feel like it's time for you to have your own back, okay, so not looking at the things that haven't worked out, and turning away from those, and going forward, okay, because there is a lifetime of abundance here waiting for you. This is what you have the ability to, to um, actually embrace in your life. And yet there's this looking through this gate at what is already being closed out. Why? Why? 
ask yourself why what benefit are you getting from holding on to those things what benefit are you getting from holding on to the sorrow here cancer what is it doing for you and be honest with yourself because that's the only way that you'll be able to create change is by being honest with yourself okay so let's read this again dear you there are times in life when taking a risk is better left for another day other times are perfect for taking that leap no matter how dangerous it might seem well hold on to your parachute strings for today is leap time hmm. realize that no matter what we will not let you fall fall drown get lost or hurt yourself in any way on this one even if it may feel like you are in free fall we are here for you and you can stop freaking out about getting hurt and relax into this transition to something new all the elements are in place and your soul is ready for a new experience no matter what you are asking about it's time to take the risk and do that thing that scares you no matter what happens you will land softly right on target don't worry about the outcome spirits got that covered it's taking the leap itself that's the point we love your courage embrace it awesome okay can't so i'm gonna leave that with you take care of your beautiful self see you bye bye